Howdy, partners. Here we are yet again to cause trouble in good old Valentine. We had a couple of things we worked on, but today we are going to go and look for Mike. I think he's holed up in some place, so we're going to get him out of there. The loading screen pictures are extremely beautiful. I really like it. The stew is currently being prepared checking in afternoon. Okay, camp funds 25 cents. I can donate more money, I think. How you feel? Strong as for sure. But not strong enough to work. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yep. Uh, let's contribute. I think I want to contribute like half of my money. Alright, let's donate this. Okay. So now that we did that. I think Micah is under, yeah, there he is. Micah Bill. Javier Esquil. Hosea Matthews, the Spines of America. As Hosea needs help with a new business opportunity at Emerald Ranch. So there is now one that we can do in conjunction with these two debts that we can collect. If we do that. Thomas Downs, money lending, and other sins. Visit Thomas Downs to reclaim his debt. Oh, that's true. There's that one, too. What is the Revenant one? Dutch asked that you get Micah out of the jail in Strawberry. Oh, I really feel like this is going to be good action. Let's do that. Let's get Micah. What is this dude doing? Hey, is that Hosea? Hosea! What are you doing? Strauss. I remember. Soon, please. Yeah, yeah. Where's she going? Alright, well, I should be getting on. Alright, Mr. Morgan. So weird. Well, come on. Do we have a lantern I can hold out? Okay. Here we go. All right, Micah. Get your ass out of jail. I just can't stop taking fucking screenshots. Help, uh, anyone. Oh. That's some oh. bullshit. Hey, what's oh, with Please help me. He's bullshitting, isn't he? Suck out Venom, give it health care. Drink this. Oh. Oh. Medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Oh. You saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Uh. Wait. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. My guy, you don't look so good. Oh, I guess we're a good guy. Let's get Micah. Oh, 
We'll do this after. Let's get this bastard. Yeah, you better stop looking, cowboys. Because you got another thing coming for you. So we gotta hit up Strawberry. Oh, this is where we came from, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Let's see now. Where's Micah hold up? Yep. What a pretty name for a town, Strawberry. This. Please, sir, please stop. Oh, I beg you. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> Well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. Well, deal with it, brother. What are you doing out here anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, uh, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Oh, yeah? Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you'd call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly hmm. stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. Okay. Okay, Mr. Hey, Sassy. Mayor, uh, quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. I'll leave you down here. Come on, keep moving. Oh, I remember that. We're on the path. Okay. Well, hard. How hard is it to get lost? This close to the town, huh? Get moving. Here's Strawberry. Come on. Yes, we are. Oh, look at it. It's cute. <laughs> You've rescued me from the depths. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. Okay. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. 
Thanks anyway. Okay. Whatever you say, brother. Uh, New Yorkers. Jesus. <laughs> I'll spank you, mister. Don't you talk to me like that. Alright. Micah's in jail. What the fuck did you do with Micah? Alright. What did you do, mister? Trail of a dangerous gang, Tomo Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. You don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mitt, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, is it raining out? Oh, that looks pretty. Oh my god, look how pretty that is. Let me out of here, you maggot. Whoa. Beautiful. Mark. a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silent. But you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. Hmm. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing. I need dynamite? Hmm. Got lantern. So I might need to go and buy it, right? Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Huh. Okay. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is going to be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Well, I guess we're doing this. Come on, yank it. I think we need to dip. Let's get out of here. Come on. The hell you Shh. He wasn't O'Driscoll. Fuck, I didn't take my shit. Fuck. I knew you were scum moment of the gun. Pretty town strawberry, ain't it? Wait, 
Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind. I know this was gonna be some shit. Am I blind? Holy shit. Kill them. God damn it, man. Mike, you fucking idiot. Okay, I need to. Crazy bastard. What is he doing? Micah is a maniac. Holy shit. They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. Oh jeez. This is some shit, ain't it? We are in the herd today. You're gonna pay for this. is clear who was that fella skinny yeah we ran together for a while did a bank job down south didn't end well i saw how it goddamn ended he was gonna let me hang i'm starting to wish i had and you owe lenny too 
Oh shit. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky that she's got your back. Some unknown reason. Oh, there's some shit between them, some secrets or some shit. Saying thank you and thank you. There I was having a dull day only for you, aliving it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? Right, listen, I'm sorry, but we're family now, Arthur. You and me, <clears throat> sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Interesting. Huh. Okay. You now own the offhand holster. This allows you to carry two side firearms at once and dual wield them. Oh shit. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Okay, that was cool. That was really cool. Heavier is squirrel. How do we get to that bastard? Well, I can go to post office and pay my bounty, right? Yeah. Alright. Additional lawmen are patrolling while the town is locked down and you will become wanted again if spotted before clearing your bounty. Okay. Yeah, we killed um, half a town. Um, let's just go pay them 20 bucks and they'll forget about it. No worries. All good. I donated that money to... What? Oh, that's his door. Ain't it? Fuck. Got two ten. Shit. Also, I got bounty out in West Elizabeth. Fuck me. All right, let's see what Reverend wants. Ah, uh, I knew I should have saved some of that money. Get the fuck away from my horse. What the fuck did you say to me? Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? What's your problem? You're my problem, buddy. Hey. You okay, boy? Yeah, good boy. Yeah. All right, Reverend. Let's see what you got. Okay, boy. Okay, midnight. Come on, midnight. You're fine. You're fine, buddy. Got him, dumb. What's this filler doing? Sir, I'm just, I'm just checking on you. Maybe he's lying. Cool, 
All right, Reverend, what you got for me? There's a random encounter here. Has to be up here on the hill, right? Yeah, it has to be up here. It can be something pretty random and small. Or you. I just don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. I ain't got time for No, well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. <laughs> yes, yeah, I have. <laughs> there has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many, many. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of... Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, <laughs> I no, love no. how fucking Earth just pisses them all. They rob banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it. They buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. 100% we're doing it. A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. All right. Thank you, brother. All right, boy. Oh, he just chilling, eating All grass. Right, boy. Yeah. yeah, good boy. Good boy. All right, Reverend, what you got for us? Reverend, where are you? Reverend. Where is he? Look at this bastard. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Now stay there. What the fuck do you think you're doing, huh? What you think you're doing? You stupid ass bastard. Sit there. Sit your ass down. Get your ass out of here. Okay. Get out of here. Oh shit. I was dumb enough to let him go. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Hopefully I'm not like fucking miles away or some shit. <sighs> I 
Come on, boy. Get over here. All right. Let's take some peppermint biscuits. Let's take some biscuits. Swanson, you bastard. What's the hold? Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. <laughs> How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Yeah, I'll fuck you guys up. Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. We take these motherfuckers for all they're worth. Here we go. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both for being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like a lot best of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Race. You're, you're bluffing. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Seven, eight. A challenge to all of us. That's a queen. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. Check. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Ooh, it's a big one. All in. Watch. All in. I'm gonna go... Okay. Here, look. This ain't what you call finishing strong. Not looking good. <laughs> Here we go, For brother. Easy. That's how you do it. All right. That's the way it goes. Will you button it? Probably trying to tab skip. All right, take your turn. Um, what do we got? Five and two. Check. See ya. Or call, whatever. Eh. Gonna start Bastard. Small here. Oh, come Bastard. On. This kid poker. Sevens. Let's got five, two. Oh, I'll follow. Fun. What do we got? Ten. We fold here, right? Fold. Uh, all right then. Mm, better than nothing. Now nah, we gotta get these motherfuckers. What 
We got eight and six. Check, Check yet. 378. 678. 910. Uh, chances are we don't really get much. Okay. Now right, we gotta milk these guys. Come on, give me a good hand. Oof. There you go. We do this one big. Six, seven. Ah, that's, shit sucks. Check. Ten. Oof. If the next one is eight, this is huge. King? You don't have anything. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. What are these hands? This this dog shit. We got two nine. Let's call it. Let's see what goes. Uh, I'll see. Two's nine. Eight nine ten eleven. Let's do a ten. Gonna start small. Another eight. I mean, we could have a. I say bluff. You're bluff. Okay. Ten. Oh, that sucks. How do you like this? Ah, uh, no. That's more this like it. Ridiculous. No. Ah, nice. I gotta get them. This is my goal for tonight. Oh. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but that was spicy. All right, oof, that's a good hand. Let's make it interesting. You're bluffing. I'm bluffing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oof, That'd be huge. Nah. Four, five, six. This is bullshit. Ah, this is so annoying. Ah, let's do it. He's probably gonna take me. Yeah. Uh no. How about that? Uh here we go. Son of a bitch. Alright. I don't even know if you can bluff these guys. We'll only play on strong hands. Uh, let's just honestly at this point, fuck it, just go dollar. Here we go, then. Not for me. All in. Let's be brave. All in. We get back to where we were. Oh, that's a decent hand. It all count. Huh? Oh well. Queen high club flush. <laughs> This is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. <laughs> Gotta look Reverend? for the bastard now. Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me. I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot? Priest wandering about. Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy yeah, looked kind of crazy, Mister. Well, you have no idea. Come here, boy. Hey, Reverend. She there, crazy bastard. Get your hands off. 
off him. By a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. He's with me. I forgot. How do you... Jesus Christ, bro. What the fuck? I forgot how you block. <laughs> you just fucking wiped me. I swear to God. God damn it. <laughs> he just fucking went for it. Jesus Christ. Alright. Maybe we can do this the non... Non crazy way. Stop it. Come on. Bastard. Get your ass over here. After dis dissuading a witness from reporting a crime, you can also rob them by pressing E while focusing on them. Remember, not a word. There we go. We did it. Reverend, get off the damn tracks! What the fuck is he doing now? Crazy bastard. Come here, boy. Reverend Bastard, stop it. Oh, Jesus. It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Got it. Come on. My horse is dead. Oh, smart nightmare. He stayed out of the way. He looks like Trevor. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I wish I was different. I 
Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, gotta put in my horsey. Stupid idiot. I was trying to do a cinematic. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. How do I fail this stupid mission so many times? Shit. One for the road. Ugh. God, man, this game is so funny. Wonderful. What a fucking lunatic, man. Holy shit. Okay, nightmare. It's okay. Hey, boy, it's okay. It's all right. Let's brush you real quick. It's okay. Come here, boy. It's okay. It's all right. You okay, boy? Good boy. Good boy. Give one more brush. Reverend will be fine. There, boy. Good boy. All right. Gotta make sure the horsey is good before anything. All right. How did I miss all the fun? <laughs> hey, Micah. A Dutch. All right, Reverend. There he is. You're too easy on him, Arthur. Just <laughs> <laughs> fucking plop him on there. Your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> he was lucky this time. Real lucky. Fucking maniac. Feels like we're back on track. Yes. Yep. Money and food. Now everyone needs confidence. For sure. All right. Well, we can still do one more thing. Let's get this dip settled. Dip, 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 dip. I speak English very best. Gotta feed our boy. Companion activity is available in the camp. 
Talk to the companions marked on your map to join and... What is Lenny doing? Something with Lenny? Oh. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Uh, well, sure. I mean, yeah, I liked her. I know, kid. And I'm sorry about it. Anyway. Not getting any easy. Complete the lap in the quickest time. Five attempts. Win two rounds to take the betting pot. What's the time? Ah, I knew I had you. All right. Ah. Oh, this thing on top is is bugged yeah. oh it's s fuck boy what you doing got a little debt to settle come on hey let's go let's go boy oh 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 okay 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 holy shit look at that beauty I need to see where I'm going though. That cinematic view is beautiful. What the fuck are these fools thinking they're doing? Oh shit. I fucked up. What'd you say? Don't mess with who? Huh? What was that? Don't mess with who? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Good boy. Easy. Good job, Nightmare. Nightmare carry that for sure. Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. 
Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please. If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. Okay. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> oh, shit. Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. So I shook them up. I didn't beat his ass or anything. I felt bad. Yeah, it didn't feel great. These angles are just marvelous. I wonder how they did it. Oh. So I need to talk to Herr Strauss about him. To get my boy settled in. Alright, there we go. Alright, boy. I really wish I could walk, walk, move around faster and camp. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot when you moved. Moving back on our feet soon. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Very drunk bastard. Okay. Day's almost over. You really need to start helping out around here. I know. How do I fix you? The lucky Dutch has a soft spot for you. I suppose. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever. We definitely need to do something for more money. Because we gotta get West Elizabeth sorted out. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Interesting. Well, that was a nice little day out in the camp. We got a little crazy adventure with Micah. We had a crazy adventure with Reverend. Later. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them. 
I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. Okay. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. Okay. If you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Hmm. Letter for Mary? Is that her? Or is that his mother or something? Oh, it is her. Be it Beatrice Morgan, Spring Rocks, eighteen seventy. Okay. Interesting. That's the mom. Rambles through woods and plains. Flower. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Hello. What's over here? Oh, is that her? Is that Mary? Is that her? First bank robbery newspaper scrap. April 15, 1887, three men saw it. Major T.J. Belford has been a cashier at the bank, banking house of Lee and Hoyt for a number of years, but nothing prepared him for what transpired last week. It was about 2 o'clock, three men, strangers to me, came through the door and walked up to the counter. One of them, the eldest of the three, was a fine talker and engaged me in conversation. Suddenly, the largest and big, sullen young fellow brandished a firearm and held it to my face. Throw up your hands, the third one said who appeared to be the boss. The other two repeated the order with an oath, and the leader said, My fine patriotic friends and I are going to relieve you of that gold and introduce a few folks to the benefits of civilization. They came around the counter and grabbed some sacks which contained $5,000 in gold. They demanded uh, to know where the rest of the money was, and I pointed out three sacks containing silver, but it was too bulky for them. They retreated, and one warmed... They retreated and one warned against sounding an alarm. I was never so terrified in my life. Mr. Belford told a reporter, The robbers are reported to have lingered in town, and there are unproven claims that the men traveled to hovels and shanties and even a home for orphans and gave handfuls of the ill-gotten gains to the poor. Oh, so that's maybe what it was. Zoological Compendium. All right, we're going to slip it off, and we're going to call it next episode. Um, nothing too crazy happening. I mean, it was. It was pretty fun. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this. Um, did you do these activities? Um, and am I on the right path? I don't know. Um, we're going to try to do more main story focused stuff so we don't keep this super long. But as I said, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you can make sure you see the videos as they come out. And as always, take care. Until the next time, have a good night. Bye.